Myasthenia gravis is a rare autoimmune disorder characterized clinically by fluctuating weakness majorly of the skeletal muscles. Myasthenia crisis is a complication of this condition which is often characterized by worsening of the weakness resulting in respiratory failure that may even require intubation and mechanical ventilation. Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues, your daily dose of health and medical news. I am Dr. Nandita Mohan and today I will be talking to all of you about this rare autoimmune disease and the worst cardiac outcomes of this particular condition. A recent study was performed to evaluate the impact of cardiological disorders on the outcome of myasthenia crisis requiring ventilation. The study threw some light on the fact that hypertensive cardiopathy, atrial fibrillation as well as ischemic heart disease, all these increased the risk of non-invasive ventilation failure in myasthenia crisis, all those who are receiving ventilation. The study is published in the Acta Myologica journal. The study included around 90 cases that were admitted to the neurological unit. All patients were eligible for a non-invasive ventilation trial. The effectiveness of cardiac comorbidities on the outcomes was analyzed, which were the need of invasive ventilation, the risk tracheostomy for weaning the failure, and the duration of the ICU stay. The females in the study were 58.9% and males the remaining. Patients were classified as early or late according to the age above or below 50, while 85% of the patients were anti-acetylcholine receptors antibody positive and hypertension and cardiac diseases occurred at the diagnosis in 61 and 44.4% respectively. Invasive mechanical ventilation was needed in 34% of the cases. Nine subjects underwent tracheostomy because of weaning failure. Independent predictors of non-invasive ventilation trial failure were atrial fibrillation, either parasitic or even persistent, hypertensive cardiomyopathy as well as ischemic heart disease. Hypertension had no statistical effect on the outcomes and hypertensive cardiomyopathy was a predictor of this weaning failure. The researchers hence concluded that hypertensive cardiomyopathy, atrial fibrillation as well as ischemic heart disease all increase the risk of non-invasive ventilation failure in myasthenia crisis, all those who are receiving ventilation. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.